Yeah, I, I'm not really sure what I'm going for here. I kind of just start painting the base and then, I don't know, I see what comes out of it from there, I guess. It, it might be another forest. Or maybe a night sky, even. I mean, who knows, really. I, I did. I did go. Oh, what happened? I got banned. That's what happened. I, I don't know why I went. I think I was just curious. Just wanted to see what the crowd was like there, you know? Anyway. I went to one of those, and we were... Painting a field of flowers, like a field of poppies, essentially. And in the middle of the field, we were supposed to paint a couple holding hands. I, I don't really like painting people in my paintings, so I avoided them at first. And you know, you can do what you want. That's what the, that's what the J up front said. So I was just going to leave them out. But then I looked right next to me to see this woman, this Karen, I guess, who was looking at my painting and she just scowled. I don't know why. So I looked right at her and we were holding eye contact for what feels like forever, really, before she says, you should put some people in there. I looked at it looked back at her and I said, I think that would ruin it. I liked the work that I did. I, I was proud of that field. But then she just had to go and say, oh, well, maybe you're just a bad artist. She even told Jane up front that I wasn't painting people. So Jane told me, well, take a stab at it. So I did. When Karen looked back over, her jaw just dropped. The couple weren't actually holding hands, no. They were actually fucking in the middle of my field. Like, in pretty good detail. I mean, you could tell. Anyway. She was just so shocked and appalled, really. I mean, like, how dare I paint two people fucking in the middle of a flower field? Like, I... I don't know, like I took a shit on her painting, even though it was my painting. I was the one who spent 25 bucks to drink a scotch and paint the goddamn thing. I just told her to think next time before she insults somebody. Yeah, so she complained and I'm not allowed back there anymore. It's, it's whatever at this point. I actually hung it up in my bedroom. It's a great achievement of mine. It didn't really mean a lot to me then. It was just two people screwing in a field. No, I don't want to talk about it. I don't know. Oh, Jesus Christ, can we please just drop this? Please? I'm sorry, that was, that wasn't called for. I, I'm sorry, I just don't talk about my dating life all that much. Well, it's, it's not your business. I had my first kiss when I was 15, all right? It, it wasn't that big of a deal. You know, I think I'm actually going to make this like a, a Halloween themed painting. You know, there's going to be some witches and some silhouettes or ghosts or something in there. I think it'd be fun. You know, whenever I paint, I always feel like a edgier, booze drinking Bob Ross in a weird sort of way. I like his style and his outlook. I mean, Mess-ups are just happy little mistakes that make up something beautiful by the end. 
I wish I could see it that way. You know, I haven't talked to my mom in a while. It's been a bit. We were on the phone talking about everything going on and I told her that I was taking a break next semester. A leave of absence, I guess. And she just got... She just got really judgmental about it. I, like, she was chewing in, so I chewed back at her. I basically told her that I don't understand why she was getting so pissed off about it since, you know, she did leave her job when she married my stepdad. Well, it blew up from there and it's been two months. Is that shitty of me? I know it's my feelings, but it's my mom. She's not like an ex or anything like that. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, that actually just reminds me of something. So, a couple weeks ago, I went on this date with a guy I met in a dance class. It, it was fine. It was nothing to write home about, but the date. <laughs> We went to this little Mexican restaurant in town and, you know, I'm sitting there sweating. He orders drinks. He orders drinks. Yeah. And the waiter asked if we wanted any chips and salsa. And I said, fine. And you? Yeah. So that was doomed from the start. Well, that and I accidentally spilled my margarita all over the table and on his crotch. Oh, God. Oh, the poor dude. He wound up smelling like cheap tequila and salted lime for the rest of the night. I wound up going to a bar, basically told him that one of my friends needed to be picked up. There was no friend. I hid in the stall in the bathroom with punk rock booming overhead. Just waiting for a lift to get me home. Yeah. I wish I was better at dating. I don't know. I wish I was more comfortable with guys. I, but I'm not. Okay, well, obviously, except for Owen, I can't live without that guy, literally. I mean, he pays the other half of my rent. Dating, I, I guess I'm just more comfortable around girls. I don't know. Molly. No, I mean, that was my first kiss. Her name was Molly. She was really pretty. She had curly hair a striped beanie, God, a beautiful smile, just amazing. She was the first girl that I have ever kissed. Well, I never kissed anyone before her, but yet I still fell for her. She was my first kiss. Nothing ever comes out of that. A life together doesn't come out of a first kiss, but God. I wish it did. Fuck. Yeah, I, I like girls and guys, okay? They're both different and great and they're just, yeah. I like them. My parents don't even know that I like girls. I mean, they didn't even know that I was even remotely curious about them. They never asked. I deserve love. I deserve something, something that's worthwhile. 
I feel like no matter what, that's always slipped away from me. My parents used to argue really late at night and I always heard them from a couple rooms over. Just a lot of shut ups and what the fuck is wrong with yous and so much fucked up shit. I drowned it out by blaring music through my brain. When they split up, I, I don't know, I kind of just felt like all the love drained from there. They told me it wasn't my fault, but, you know, what do I care, really? I deserve love, all right? I deserve someone who cares, who doesn't hurt me, who wouldn't ever hurt me. I was sexually abused by my stepdad. I was eight. I thought it was innocent. It started out innocent, just ghost hunting in the family cabin. You know, and at the time I thought that what he did was love, but it wasn't. It fucking wasn't. You wanna know how it gets better from there? He started telling me that it never happened. That it didn't exist, that, that it wasn't real. My own mother even doubted me. Are you sure that it happened? Do you know who did it to you? I started believing it. I started thinking that maybe it was just my imagination, that maybe it wasn't real, that it was all just a bad dream. And then it resurfaced. Two months ago. And I don't even know which one is the truth.